Hello, welcome to today's Wellness Wednesday workshop. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, how we can decrease our anxiety quickly. If you're working from home, uh, and you've been working from home for the last few months because of COVID, and you're under tons and tons of stress and you still haven't figured out how to get rid of all the stress and anxiety of working from home, then this episode is for you. We're gonna talk about two different breathing exercises that will help you uh, reduce stress, increase your relaxation, reduce your tension, decrease your anxiety. They can also decrease panic uh, disorders and decrease PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, when you are not breathing properly, you have what's called respiratory acidity. So if you've heard of acids and bases and neutrals, uh, when your blood gets more acidic because you're not breathing properly, it can cause fatigue or drowsiness. You can become tired very easily. You can be confused. What? Uh, shortness of breath, sleepiness, and headaches. Uh, when all of those things start bothering you uh, and you're getting this show, slow, shallow breaths, you need to start doing these breathing exercises. The first breathing exercise is a deep breathing exercise. When you're deep breathing, so shallow breathing is, you breathe and your shoulders go, I can't even do it because I don't even shallow breathe. Deep breathing, when you're deep breathing, only your stomach moves in and out. So this is a daily habit you need to do. When you start doing this as a daily habit, then your deep breathing will just become a regular thing you do every single day and it'll help you be calm and more relaxed. So deep breathing, do it every morning when you wake up. Uh, you breathe with your belly instead of your stomach. When you breathe with your belly, you decrease the acidity. When you breathe with your shoulders, you increase the acidity. So deep breathing exercises, sit or lie down. Uh, sit, make sure your posture is good. Uh, we all know what good posture is. Put one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. Uh, you wanna make sure that the hand on your belly is the only one moving. You breathe in through your lungs, in through your nose until your lungs are completely full. Your belly hand moves out. And then uh, you breathe out through your uh, mouth. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. Do that between three and 10 times. That exercise will help you learn how to breathe properly all the time. The next is called box breathing. This is what instantly calms your autonomic nervous system. Your autonomic nervous system is re responsible for fighting. So if you see a saber tooth tiger, you will either fight it or you will run away from it. So that is what your autonomic nervous system is responsible for. We don't have very many saber tooth tigers in our bedrooms at home when we're doing all of our computer work. So this box breathing helps instantly calm your autonomic nervous system. It's used by Navy SEALs, police officers, nurses. It's a great technique to decrease your carbon dioxide levels in your blood. So for this, you sit upright, close your eyes. I'm gonna open them so I can see, uh, but close your eyes while you're doing this. You breathe in through your nose while you're counting to four. You feel the air enter your lungs. You hold your breath for four seconds. Try not to clamp your mouth or nose shut. None of that. Uh, and then avoid exhaling for four seconds. Then you begin to slowly exhale for four seconds. And then you repeat steps one to three, uh, at least three times. Ideally, you do it uh, the three steps for four minutes. So it's called a box breathing because you breathe in for four seconds, hold for four seconds, out for four seconds, repeat. In for four seconds, hold for four seconds, out for four seconds, repeat. That box breathing exercise is really, really effective if you're really, really stressed out, you've got all kinds of things going on at work uh, while you're sitting at home on your computer, you've got kids trying to do something, you've got a spouse uh, trying to do something else, box breathing, box breathing is where it's at. Practice those exercises every single day. Next week, we're going to talk about how to safely work while laying on your mattress at home because I know a lot of you are doing that even though you shouldn't be. So next week, how to safely work on your mattress at home. If you have any questions, call me at 704-827-6560. Uh, otherwise, like, comment, and share, and we will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.